Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pillars of Eternity. Where we left off last time, we had killed Sly Sirdel, we're not going to go do any more of the bounties just yet, we're going to head to Twin Elms now. There are a couple of talkie quests we can do to get some experience, easy experience, and level up a little bit more, so that the fight parts aren't so difficult. Now there is something I wanted to discuss with you guys at the beginning of this video, and I know some of you are going to be like, what does this have to do? with Pillars of Eternity, and the truth is it doesn't, but several people have asked me when I'm going to be doing a Siege of Dragon Spear run. Now, here is the thing. I was initially forth. going to do one right away. But having talked to a couple friends of mine today, who I trust impe er, implicitly with telling me how games actually go and how they are, and they've had a ch chance to play and beat, or well, at least play through most of um, Siege of Dragon Spear. Why did I go without resting? That was stupid. Let's go back there really quickly. Um, they have told me that Siege of Dragon Spear, quite frankly, is not very good. My time is sort of at a little bit of a premium these days. I know that later on I should have more time to do this channel, but right now I'm currently in a place where I need to sort of Pick and choose games that I know that you guys are going to enjoy and I know that I am going to enjoy. Because if I don't enjoy them, the playthroughs won't be as fun for you guys because I'm just going to be frustrated or bored or annoyed. So basically the complaints that I got for all of Spear of, or Siege of Dragon Spear fell into sort of three categories. Sorry, two categories. But I have an additional third category which I discovered today. So um, the first negative point for Siege of Dragon Spear was that its apparent writing, storyline choices, and just general conversation and everything, writing in general, are poor. They're poorly done, apparently. Um, according to the people I've talked to, they push a very specific political agenda, which is not necessarily a bad thing on its own, but when you're making a spiritual successor to a game that was set in a high fantasy setting, which didn't adhere to really any real-world politics, very much anyways, pushing a contemporary political issue in your new game might not be the best thing for it. Um, I don't know to the extent of it, because I didn't ask a whole lot about it, in terms of uh, what they meant yeah. by they're pushing a specific agenda or anything like that. I wasn't particularly interested. When I heard that they were pushing an agenda, yeah. I was just sort of like, ah, oh, really? You're going to do that to yes. a beloved game? I was a little bit, mm. you know, wary of that. Hey there. Um, the other thing... Yes. Oh, if you guys are wondering what the political That's agenda much. is, it's from what I've heard, I didn't look into it too much, just the overarching topic I was that it's an S basically SJW in the game, and I'm not really interested in playing through a thing that's bastardizing what was probably one of the best games I played when I was a young boy. Just playing through for fun, high fantasy, with silliness. Apparently the writing is sure. really not good. So, that's where I'm at on that one. I'm just, I'm very hesitant to play it. Now the second thing is that it is apparently really buggy. Like, buggy to the extreme. Buggy to an extent that it's not fun to play. It crashes a lot, and uh, apparently it's just not very good. So. I'm going to let it simmer for a bit. I'll let, get, I'll let it get some patches out. I will let it fix its... hopefully fix its uh, writing problems and yes. everything like that. And then we'll go from there. Maybe I'll play it then at that point. Now the third thing for me, this is a specific problem on my account, is that I didn't keep my save from Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. I didn't think I'd be going back to it. And so I deleted it. So I don't have any characters capable of doing the new expansion right away. I will have to actually either edit new characters in or play through the game again to get to that point. I don't know if you can pre-make characters and shove them into the new expansion solely, so we'll see. We'll see if that's a thing, but I don't know. Let's talk to the dying monk and then we'll continue on our topic. The man on the ground gasps for air, clutching his chest as he struggles. On closer examination you see his red cloak obscures the full extent of his injuries. His face whitens as blood pools around him. Please, traveler. He reaches out arduously, extending his hand towards you. What happened? Forgetful, so careless, he mutters, blood seeping from his lips. Cuts on my knuckles from... 
from morning practice. He holds his blood soaked hand out in front of him. The Stelgares, they smelled the blood on me. Thought they found their next meal. He reaches down to clutch his left leg, a finger running along the jagged length of bone protruding from his knee. They were almost correct. The man stares at you intently for several moments before his eyes widen in recognition. I've heard of you. Your cruelty is known to us. Will it please you, please you to watch a stranger die? Would it please you more to know that I die with my mission unfulfilled? I'm not going to lie. Your wounds look too severe to be helped. He nods. I have borne upon my flesh countless injuries, and I know this time I will not recover. The long walk of my life concludes here, but my soul is prepared. This must be delivered to my order, the monk weakly grasps for his satchel, drawing from it the messenger's scroll case. Take it, he rasps, waving the missive at you. It needs... It needs to be carried to the celestial sapling. Give this to my brothers. They will reward you. Do not open it, he cries out, his voice crackling. Cracking. The contents are for my brothers only. If the seal is broken, they will. Blood erupts from the man's mouth. Streams of red oozing down his neck. His head slumps backwards, and his body goes still. I want to open it. The wax seal breaks easily under your fingers as you pry open the scroll case. You unroll the scroll, seeing an official watermark through delicate parchment. Rejoice, seekers! The judicious application of pain has loosened the tongue of our informant. The artifact we seek has recently been moved to Elm's Reach. It should be secured in a residence near the entrance of the settlement. The informant suggested that it is likely stashed away under the floor. We have endured much in our pursuit of this hollowed relic. Soon our efforts will come to fruition. The Council of Arch Martyrs awaits your triumphant return. Do not fail us. We read it before he died? That's not very nice of us. Anyways, back to our other topic. So, Siege of Dragonspear. Now, I know you're thinking, like, maybe your friends were wrong. And I thought so too, because sometimes my friends don't like the same games I do. And I was like, okay, maybe... Although, to be fair, they all loved Baldur's Gate, and they all found this game to be an abomination against it. But, oh, there's an ogre druid right up there. Let's not, f well, let's yes. go take a look. I'm here. We can at least take a look. Uh, the way we need to go is down over here, by the way. Um, but then I went and looked at the reviews online on Steam. And everyone says the same thing. It's not good. Most, like, all the top reviews, all are negative. Oh, there's at least two ogre druids. Is there any more? Oh, there's also another ogre. You know what? Let's leave that little group alone for now until we get some what more levels. It? We can do some talking quests in uh, Twin Elms that will uh, what is it? help us out a little bit. So yeah, that's where I'm standing on the issue of Siege of Dragonspear. I'm here. That's not being said. Or sorry. That being said, I'm not dead set against playing it. If some of you have played it and you have a completely different experience playing the game and you're like, I don't know what those guys are talking about, it was completely awesome, I think you would love it, and here's the reasons why, so be it. Well. Let me know. I will take it into due consideration. I am easily swayed to play new games, especially ones that I was initially quite um, excited for. So, I'm just sort of wary at the moment, guys. Yes. There are so many games in my Steam list that I know guaranteed you guys will enjoy watching playthroughs for. Like the Shadowrun games, um, the Might and Magics. Uh, what other games do I want to play for you? There's a couple other sillier type games that look just plain fun. They're not very serious and they don't have... Oh, okay, there's something happening here. Anyone suspected of treachery must be reported at once. Okay. Oh, let's see us. A Good, pale. You have, come. you have heard of the recent defections from our order caused by this, this apostate in Kratum. A pale image of Theos beckons you with a, a curl of a translucent finger. An answer floats to the surface of your consciousness, remembered from ages ago. Yes, I have. This is a dangerous woman whose lies spread like plague. She inspires chaos, sows conflict. Because of these unusual circumstances, I am speaking to all our initiates personally to ensure there is no more dissension. You mean because she was one of us? Who she was no longer matters. If her following continues to grow, there will be war, and all our work will be undone. Theos hesitates. You were recruited from Kratum, were you not? You must have known this heretic woman, Yavara. At hearing the name, a flood of memories pours into your mind. 
Uh, I was in love with her. I see. I see. And did she return the sentiment? Yeah, she did. I trust that you will snuff out this flame if it still burns. The gods do not take pity on traitors. Fair enough. I am trusting you to remain loyal to the gods in this. If you do not, you will have greater powers than me to answer to. But you will answer to me as well. After a moment he adds, I understand your eminence. Okay then, bye Theos. Sharp eyes and it's good to see you again. I hope things are going well in Theos land. So, yeah, that's where I'm standing on the whole Dragon Spear issue at the moment. Again, I'm open to changes of mind. Let me know. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yay, we can go to Hearthsong. Let's do it. It's good to go to the town because we can get supplies, we can buy items, we have lots of money, we can sell tons of junk that we have lying around, and we can do some of the talkie quests. Talkie quests are great for leveling because they don't have the unpredictability of combat where you can do things a little bit wrong and then die horrifically. So that's where we're at. Hi. Estramore still. Hail, Estramore. The warrior saunters over, a sneer of suspicion visible beneath the streaks of paint. He glances at your gear before favoring you with a long look. Another fugitive from the burning city? The six tribes of Ear Glen Fath welcome you to Twin Elms. Before you lies the other lies the Hearthstone district. You are free to explore it, but do not let your feet stray into the other districts. Those are forbidden to Estramorn. Why is it forbidden to the remaining er enter the remaining districts of Twin Elms? Twin Elms is a sacred city built when the first keepers of the stone met the builders. It exists alongside the works of the builders, and it is the only place in all of Ear Glen Fath where it is permitted to set foot among these sacred places. The Estramorn, however, do not have proper respect for the stones here. His words trigger something in your memory. You see an image of a perfect cube of Adra just as quickly the image fades. A leader of one of the tribes could give you the permission of the city, only Animath Animinfath? Beth will is present in the passage of the six today, and she has her own troubles. He jerks his head at a long hut in the middle of the district. You have other questions about Twin Elms. Who are the builders? You would know them as the Anguithans. To us they are the builders, creators of the sacred place that we guard to this day. I haven't heard of the Keepers of the Stone. The oldest of the six tribes, he points the, to the tip of his sword at a long hut behind him, up the stairs and into the passage of the six. That is where you are, er, that is where our Amanfatha gather. Bethwil, the Amanfath of the Gilded Compass, Guided Compass, can tell you more. I'll keep yours in mind. Best that you keep your visit brief. Word has reached our ears that the riots have ended and the gates of Defiance Bay have opened once more. Super. That was a quick riot. We can go back if we want to. We can leave our friends behind. I want to go to a weapon store. Hearth Song Market. Let's go. Let's do a little bit of marketing. It's market day. It's time to get some inventory stuff cleared up. Sorry for the uh, huge rambling discussion on uh, Siege of Dragon Spear. I know it wasn't really tied into Pillars of Eternity, but I know it's been requested by several people. And I feel that the people who would watch that Let's Play and the people who are watching this Let's Play probably tie in quite similarly. So that's where I'm sitting on this whole thing. Hail Estramore. I'm going to see your worst. Ooh. Ooh. Why are your where's such garbage? They're really, really bad. I'll just sell that junk for now. How about you? Do you have better stuff? Many blessings, traveler. Ah, that's better. Okay. Strike hard is an exceptional hammer with attack speed. Not super good. Ooh. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Oh. I don't know why it does this sometimes. Builder's wisdom to you. Is it still doing it? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm gonna hit a bunch of buttons. Better. Many blessings, traveler. Negative. Um. Many blessings, traveler. No. 
why it does this. None of my buttons are being held down. Any of those. Page up. Home insert in. Whatever. All the buttons. Alright. Builder's wisdom to you. Alright, I'm just going to save and reload. I'll be back in half. Actually, you know what? You guys can just watch me save and reload. Let's try it. Hopefully it'll fix things. Hit all the buttons. Everything should be good now. The only one I can't hit is page down, which is the, probably the stuck one because it will immediately end the video, which is Many blessings, slowly traveler. annoying. Oh, good. Okay. Star caller is an exceptional mace. Minola's minor missiles on critical hit once per encounter. Blech. If it was multiple times per encounter, that'd be awesome. Uh, club is plus 5 accuracy, plus 4 accuracy when attacking the same target as an ally, plus 25 damage when attacking the same target as an ally, so it's good against allies. And it's superb, which is nice, but not good enough for us to buy, in all honesty. But the mail might be. But I was wrong. <laughs> uh, what about this? Resolve, damage reduction. Yeah. Why is everything such garbage? Oh well. Of There's course. other stores. Hail Estamore. Oh. Thank you for your garbage. Estramore. Uh, I just want to see what you have for sale. Hey, we can buy rubies to upgrade weapons, but yeah, they're kind of expensive. Might be worth it though. Now this person had what was it again? Nothing? Right, she has nothing good. <sighs> I'm disappointed in the Hail quality of the Estimore. stores here. Oh, well, let's sell a bunch of our junk at least. We might as well get some extra money going. So, enchantments from high to low. Get rid of all that. You know, that might actually be better than our armor. I can't tell. I'll check that. Keep a set of that as well. Okay, what else do we have to sell? Helmets! All the helmets can be sold because they're garbage. If they're not enchanted, they're not worth anything at all. Including, yeah, they're just not worth anything. Okay, now let's take a look at our item. Uh, we'll do item stuff in between videos. There's no real point. Why is that wiggly? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> That's it for the store. Let's go take a look around. Now, as you may recall from the monk's thing, there's an artifact under the floorboards that we should probably go pick up. We also have to take a letter to the monks at some place. But it said to be close to the entrance in one of the hovels. This is a hovel, but I don't think we can go in, so it's either going to be this one. Or... This one. Is this a hovel? Can we go into this one? No. So there's a Glen Faithen home. So there's three homes in this district. And the Celestial Sapling is actually an inn, so... Just something to keep in mind. It wasn't really a big issue or anything. I don't know if I love the ranger yet. I will love her when she gets Stormcaller and is an unstoppable killing machine of lightning death, but until that point, she's just sort of a mediocre damage dealer. We need a key to enter this place. There's not even lockpicking that you can do. That's disappointing. Let's go find another home then. Next house, I guess. Stupid non key. <sighs> I would just like to have your house built into the side of a mountain. I think it'd be kind of cool. Like the side of a hill. I guess my house, it kind of is, but not to the same extent. This place doesn't even have floorboards. This makes no sense at all. 
Also, my mechanic skill is not high Many enough. Welcome to my home, Estramore. I am Lindsay, healer and guide. What brings you here? Tell me about yourself. The locals have called me a wise woman, a term of respect, I'm sure, but it makes me feel my years. I am an herbalist and a healer. I spend most of my time caring for the ill, helping with the delivery of children, and making remedies for those in pain. I like your songbird. Does it have a name? Well, he does, she blushes. But I ought to not let you... No, eh, but I ought not to have let my friend's daughter's name him. The name is long and rather silly. The short version is Beaker. She rolls her eyes and smiles. The next bird I have will be named after an Emonfath. I should be going, I guess. Where's your songbird? I don't even see it. I can't even lockpick your thing. It cost me three lockpicks, and that's too many lockpicks. The amount of lockpicks required is too damn high. Although I think we have tons of lockpicks. Maybe it's not too damn high. Let's find out. How many lockpicks do I have? Let's play the how many lockpick game. Twenty. Okay. You know what? We can we can spare a few lockpicks. We can spare three to get some experience. And possibly an item, though I highly doubt it. I have a feeling this is going to be straight up stealing. Hope that helps. Yep. Unfortunately, that is a theft, and we cannot do it. We need all of the reputation we can, because reasons. That's the reason why we need it. Um, now... Unfortunately, we can't go into that hut. We can go to the sapling, however. I do believe there are quests to pick up there. We won't go to the main area yet. The, um... Big, long, hall meeting house type thing. We're just going to go up to the inn. Take a look for stuff to do. And we can go back to uh, the city again, which is nice, because we... Ooh, that's a big ogre. His name's Rotok. Hi, Rotok. You want up? I pull. What's Renato up to say? She'll pay that which she'll... Fuming with anger and pacing in tiny circles, the Valian merchant aims his wild rant at you as you approach. You there! Have you come to trade with the savages? Learn from my example and take your business elsewhere. Spittle accents his every sentence. Liars, cheats, swindlers! That duplicitous bitch, Alar he, she claimed to be selling a large glow of flower buds. But all I have now is six bushels of common house plants. The herbs are useless. He throws a handful of dried plants to the ground, stomping on the brittle stems and leaves, kicking up pungent, savory scents. I'll get my money back from that swindling savage. And what did Alarhi say when you confronted her? Nothing of substance, he quickly mutters. She defended herself, of course, saying the herbs were legitimate. Why wouldn't she? No one will value my word over hers. He spits on the ground. Alarhi can lie with impunity when surrounded by her gangs of savage thugs. What is Alard Gola? Renato's rage abates for a moment, and his face twists in a nervous smile. Alard Gola is a plant that grows in the jungles of Irglen Fath. He lowers his throat, or clears his throat, lowering his voice. When dried and consumed or brewed in tea, it's known to, uh, enhance one's drive for the better pleasures in life. And what do you intend to do about this? When I get my hands on, Renato halts his sentence as I was starting about the nearby Glenfathen guards. I'm in the savage's home court, so it's my word against hers. Where does that leave me? I'd be a fool to threaten her here on tribal soil. He sighs, pressing on his temples. Hang on, guys, I gotta take a phone call. One second. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had a quick phone call with my mum. Where are we? Power ask and friends. Oh right. He sighs, pressing onto his temples. I cannot sell this worthless herb to recover my coin, and I'm powerless to confront Alarhi. I don't suppose, he looks up at you, sizing you up. If you were willing to mediate, perhaps you could succeed, succeed where I failed. I would of course pay you handsomely for your troubles. Let me see what I can do. Greetings. Also, let me see what you have for sale. Renato looks away from you, scratching the, his neck and shifting his feet. I am destitute and have but a few meager offerings left to sell. How dreadfully embarrassing. If you can recover my investment from Alarhi, I'll have the funds to resupply my stores. Until then, you're welcome to take a look at what I still have in stock. Garbage. You should just go to the garbage dump and pick up new stuff. Because that's all you have in your inventory. It's all awful. Alright. So let's go, um, move the microphone a teensy bit. There we go. 
There's an ogre up here just chilling out. Bunch of gold names. Frightened villager, dear wooden, valiant man. Somebody, random people, more people, more unnamed people. Hey, of a moment, I would like a word with you. Hail sure. Well a slender woman in dusty leathers locks eyes with you. It's good to see someone from more civilized lands around here. Her unkempt hair sprouts in wavy black tufts. Despite the fine features of the sculpt her face, a cleft chin completes her boyish appearance. I'm learning firsthand that the many shortcomings of Glen Faith and hospitality. Her gloved hands come to rest on the pommel of a long estoc, cinched low on her hip. I can almost forgive the hostility towards outsiders, but the temperate taverns and these watered-down drinks is inexcusable. I hope I don't seem too forward, but I need to help my friends, and you look like the right person for the job. A sly smile carves a dimple on her cheek, which is to say you're not Glen Faithen, making you the closest thing I've got to an ally in this paranoid land. She gives you a cockadish sideways glance, and allies, well, they help each other, do they not? What help do you need? My friends have drawn some unwanted attention. Swinneth looks to both sides, scanning for uninvited listeners, Glenfaith and scouts, and not just any mob of local zealots, the Fangs. She pauses to let the name settle in the air. The Fangs are a brutal, relentless bunch, eager to make an example of troublesome outsiders. As for why I need your help, her smile widens as she speaks, I need someone to warn the expedition that trouble is coming, and I need someone ready to fight if it comes to that. She taps her hand on the pommel of her estoc. With any luck, we'll reach my friends before the Fangs do, but if not, the Fangs have a reputation to uphold, so this might require spilling blood. You know what, I'll help. Swinneth smiles with an overt display of dimples. Excellent, I knew I could count on you. She leans in and whispers, Assuming the Fangs didn't already get them, my friends should now be at or around the Pilgrim's Trail in the North Weald. The plan was to camp along a trail leading to the Temple of Hylia. <laughs> Find my comrades. Warn them the things are coming and help them clear out the forest. I'll head out first on my own to see if I can't lead, or lead the fangs astray and buy us some time. She pulls her estoc a few inches out of its scabbard and cracks a smile. If the gods smile on us, we won't have to draw steel. Should it come to that, I'm glad you're on our side. We have a quest to do. You are an actual person. But your... Your Not nameplate sure says actual person, but your voice says dot dot dot. There you go. Well, it's all loot, it's all uh, stealing, so we can't do anything about that. So there's nobody up here we want to talk to? Really? Maybe up here. Maybe up on this platform up here. I'll take a look. A high monk. Oh, all the monks. Right. What is it? Who we stole the thing from. Hey there. Or read the letter from, I should say. Hmm? Yes. Just in case yes. things get a little out of hand, yes. monks are known to be a testy sort. Yes. Just say the word. Um, Ready when you are. Something along these lines. Hey there. With my tank in what front, is like reddish tier or so. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay. Welcome. The monk massages his temples, his face buried in his palm. As you approach, he looks up. This room needs a proper door, he mutters. My brothers and I rented this space that we might have some measure of privacy in this foreign land. Perhaps you could find another room here in the inn. I met another monk in robes like your own. He died of his wounds right as I found him. The monk's eyes widen, his fists curl into a, cr a cracking barrage of popping joints. Robes like ours, you say. Was he carrying anything? Did he tell you anything? Hand you anything, please. We've been waiting for another of our order to meet us here, and if you found him, all eyes fall to the floor as the monks begin to whisper chants in unison to their fallen friend. <laughs> he gave me this missive. Hand me that. The monk exclaims as he snatches the missive from your grasp. Almost immediately his face turns red. I mean, please. This is of great importance. He turns over the missive, peeling back the broken seal. He glares at you. His brow furrowed with anger. You destroyed the seal. You invaded the privacy of our order. The monk throws the missive to the ground and raises his fist in a fighting stance. Defend yourself. The monk glares at you, shaking his head. He and his brothers lunge at you. Well... Run! Disengage and run backwards. It's the safest thing. Is there a mage? The high monk is kind of a mage? Okay. Regardless... We're going to play a game called Fireball All the Mages. A 
little bit closer. Alright. Why well, you guys should probably switch. They're mostly badly injured, which is good for business. One monk is dead. A bunch of them are near death, and some of them are not really all that hurt. But let's get some armor. Hi, mage monk. I'm afraid I need your key so I can go get my artifact. As you wish. And actually, I think we're out of time on this video, so. They also have a shield and Ela Brasia. As it's fine and has reflection. Range grazes reflected back at the attacker. Not all that good in honesty. No key. But no one here to see us steal. Sharp eyes and keen ears. Well, it looks like the monks got an eternal peace out of this, at least, I guess. Let's go deal with nothing. We're done our video. That's going to be it for today. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time for some more Pillars of Eternity. It's time for me to go watch a TV show, get ready for bed, have a relax, chill out, do all those things that end in relaxation. So, see you guys tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tuesday? Uh, see you guys a little bit later tomorrow, but still tomorrow. Take care.